Hi there, lovely people. Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm uh, welcoming back to the channel. A little bit unwell uh, since last two days or so, but uh, some of you want to see me <laughs> in front of the camera. So I'm changing the angle up a little bit once again. And today I'll be reviewing a fragrance from House of Kenzo. It's going to be a sample review. Uh, this is a new fragrance that I have a sample of. This is called Kenzo Om EDT Intense. Okay, this is a new release with a beautiful bottle there. I thought of buying it, but at this point it's too expensive. So I have a sample which I'll review. I have it on the paper for some time and this is a small sample that I purchased I think it's a what sample size this is one mil okay not very big sample size uh, let me show you since I don't have the bottle I can show you the bottle uh, pictures this actually looks like in shape of a bamboo very beautiful dark blue bottle I tested it tested it like in a retail shop like a couple of months back and uh, I really like the smell really long lasting too I'll talk about that uh, these bottles are beautiful price right now it's currently about 85 to 100 dollars which is not for me kenzo price i don't pay that much uh, after a couple of months or six months this will def this will definitely hit the discounters and you can get this for somewhere 55 to 65 dollars depending on your country but uh, these are not like 20 dollar cologne you cannot find this for that cheap so i really like this bottle go and check it out in the kenzo counters they look stunning and the sprayer is very good i tested it okay uh, when I smell it, it smells very strong. I'll let you know what they say here. So it's EDT Intense. So EDT Intense is somewhere between EDT and EDP, somewhere in between. Like it has a strength of EDP, but not quite 100%. And it definitely has best of both worlds because EDTs usually tend to project a lot more, but EDPs last long. So this fragrance has best of both worlds. It does, does have good performance as well as good projection for about two hours, okay? So how many sprays to go with this? Uh, from the good atomizer, I would say, three sprays is adequate you know it's just enough to enjoy but if you want to really show off go five okay double up the sprays uh, this fragrance has a description here it says kenzo om presents its new masculine perfume inspired by the intensity of bamboo and the serenity of sea breeze excellent uh, interpretation or description uh, a marine woody and warm signature uh, there are notes break down like calypson I, I used to know what that was i forgot at this moment Pink peppercorn, uh, Haitian vetiver, uh, fig wood accord, Australian sandalwood. So let me hold this, you know, let me do a fresh spray on this paper. This is the dry down. Okay, let's just go one. This one I can smell it. Uh, let's hold it and then because I don't have the bottle, let me hold it. So my, let this settle down. Uh, my ex, uh, experience with Kenzo is that I don't have so many Kenzo, but I did review quite a few Kenzo perfume, mostly from Kenzo online. Kenzo Om Sport, then Kenzo Om, uh, Kenzo Poor Om, Low Par Kenzo, Kenzo Jungle Elephant from top of my head, some of them, then Kenzo Jungle. Uh, so basically what Kenzo does, Isimiyake, Kenzo, these are underrated house, okay, for me. They are not the ones that people, majority of people talk about. People usually talk about like Bulgari, Versace, or Pakoraban a lot more than these houses. But that's why I do these videos, so it helps people to look at a new house, something different. Uh, Kenzo bottles can be like very interesting. The Kenzo Purom, they have this katana sort of uh, sword blade uh, handle, you know, like sword handle. Then Lopar Kenzo has this wavy bottle. Check out my review, I'll leave the link below. So Kenzo does fresh perfume as well as some dark fragrances like Kenzo Home Night. Got this beautiful mango, ripe mango, sweet. Uh, overall, Kenzo is for me, overall, if you give, ask me to give a rating, it's like 8 out of 10 on average. And not everything is great, but it's a solid house. So Kenzo's pricing are also fair if you, you find it discounters. If you pay full retail, for me, it's a bit too pricey. So I want to try like Kenzo. Uh, there's one called Kenzo Tokyo that Mark reviewed, but it's long gone. So after the years of a lot of other perfumes, this fragrance really is a interesting one. It's strong. Longevity is fantastic. I got like seven to eight hours. Uh, like I tried it like three times, three different days on shop called Sandara in Bangladesh. It's one of the biggest retail in Asia very proud of that you know bangladesh i have a showroom near my house so they have huge collection tester of every single perfume so go and check it out if you want even if you don't buy they don't mind but when i checked it the price was full retail there's no discount available so i'm like i'm gonna wait for a good price so when i tried this it really like wowed me i tried ck's new fragrance called crave no no not crave ck the new one defy you know that one, this one, I tried that time, Pakorabans, the robot, you know, uh, Scandal Purum. So all those fragrances came out together, Bad Boys, new one. 
this fragrance stood out for me okay i absolutely love the smell i knew there was something sweet i'll tell you what i get from it upon initial spray it's a very nice aromatic marine fig uh, spicy woody that kind of feel if you ask me also go try bulgari man um was the fragrance terra essence the new one the brown bottle that one this one feels like very close related but that one is not an aquatic this is kind of like an aquatic you can say but it's a very sweet perfume it's definitely can be all year round i mean i would say if you have this fragrance it's not just for summer it has enough potency you can use it for winter time uh, spring time fall you know this fragrance will definitely have huge presence longevity projection is well above average i would say a 9 out of 10 on those categories 8.5 to 9 so definitely a good performer okay what uh, occasion i would say you can put this on for work because of the spices it gives that kind of formal vibe uh, it reminds me of as when i say bulgari man terra essence it reminds me more of bulgari man man in black you know it has some pepper similar to spice bomb they are all related so the spicy effect on this makes it formal you can wear it for formal setup with a suit dark blue suit with a tie with a white shirt beautiful but you can also wear this casually on a summer day uh, just go easy on the trigger it can become too spicy and too sweet very quickly so the fig note in this is the interesting twist you know among the oceanic accords and that uh, the beautiful aromatic property of sea breeze aquatic uh, pepper at the middle there is a fig note and fig can 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 be like a bit tricky some fig can be milky you know weird thing to say sweet uh, some of the fig can be green this fragrance uh, the fig note in this is somewhere in between it has sweetness at the same time it's green so uplifting whatever it's in there it's very uplifting you can definitely see it's a like a ch change of pace from kenzo they follow the same old same old uh, formula of fresh green uh, are uh, like aromatic think of bulgari aqua line this one has some vibes but this definitely is a fantastic release it can get little mature i would not say teenagers will find this the most appealing this is more of a mature men's fragrance but you can give it a try that's my just my opinion and that is not absolute so overall all in all uh, this is fragrance definitely worthy of checking out just because the kenzo no one is talking about it i think it's definitely like i'm getting kind of that fig kind of like a picking up some tea note herbal tea note and uh, sandalwood sweet sandalwood spices the aquatic very nice very nice fragrance so this it's this fragrance overall if you ask me the bottle is just 10 out of 10 beautiful bottle check out that bottle it's worthy of collecting look at this just take a look at that. that's the bottle very unique right uh, for the bottle reason it's a 10 for the smell i'll give it 8.5 longevity projection is 9 so it's in that area you know compliment factors i don't know because i don't have it but I, i'm pretty sure people will compliment you if they smell it if you ask me to criticize it one thing right now it's too expensive second thing it's a bit mature side not very youthful vibe third thing i feel this fragrance has uh, more seriousness than casual playful vibe so this is not a playful fragrance so keep that in mind it can be more of your signature office uh, or serious formal setup I think this fragrance will achieve that so those are the some downs every fragrance nobody is perfect nothing in the world is perfect it will have its good and negative but this one is so much more positive than negative only thing wait for the prices to go down overall my rating for this perfume is 8.5 out of 10 for kenzo om edt intense i think there's an edp version out i'm not sure if it's out i'll review it as well thank you so much for watching and i'm sorry i couldn't show you the bottle uh, but it's always do a pleasure to do the video have a nice day thanks for watching i'll see you soon Bye bye